Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to take a small topic from some natural materials and man-made materials. So it is what ceramics. So here, uh, the word ceramics are or was originated from the Greek word called keramos, that is potter art. And the properties of ceramics basically include durability, strength, and brittleness, high electrical and thermal resistance and an ability to withstand the damaging effects of acids, oxygen and other chemicals because of their inertness. Here we have uh, heavy clay products that is bricks, roof tiles. Here we have pottery products. So these are terracotta and it is a ceramic materials made from natural clay that is red clay and which give uh, it a characteristic color that is reddish brown color and it can either be unglazed or glazed ceramic. It is used in making flower pots water and sewage pipes that is bricks sculptures we have earthen wave for our pottery it is made up of baked clay one baked clay uh, glaze must be applied which make it impervious to liquids and their composition are in such a way it is feldspar calcined quartz sand and china clay we have a stoneware these are hard like porcelain but opaque like earthenware and uh, usually translucent and their composition is given out here we have porcelain it is ceramic materials which resemble glass and it contain 35 to 40 percent mullet it is strong tough non-porous translucent it is a hard material that is typically uh, feels smooth to touch it is highly resistant to chemical attack and thermal shock also let us see now about the constituent of ceramics we can have ceramics are generally thought of in inorganic and non-metallic brittle solids the main constituents of ceramics are clay china clay feldspar and sand so here uh, we have uh, clay uh, these are six types of clay so one is common clay most usually for bricks cements and aggregate china clay widely used for making glossy paper uh, bentonite variety of industrial uses including drilling mud foundry sand and also found in household products that absorb pet waste ball clay high quality clay prized for its use ceramics sanitary wares and wall and floor tiles fuller's earth used for pet waste products fire clay used in refrigerator factory high temperature bricks and cement your feldspar that is uh, types of feldspar potash feldspar k2o al236 io2 and soda feldspar Na2O Al2O3-6SiO2 Limes feldspar that is CaO Al2O3-6SiO2 In uh, ceramic feldspar is used as flux and used as a mordant Next one is your sand uh, It is found as quartz It is found as quartz or sandstone Now let us see about the uses of your ceramics So pottery, table bears, tiles, building bricks or some popular ceramic products your refractive uh, bricks are used for leaning in furnace your some ceramics are used as superconductors of very low temperature nuclear ceramics substances are used as nuclear reactors as neutrons emitter and nuclear fuel your silicon nitrides are extremely tough ceramics and prepared by heating silicon powder with nitrogen gas so these are the different areas where ceramics are used so in this way we come across about a small topic that we have taken here that is your uh, ceramics thank you